Hi friends, welcome to this class. In last class, we discussed about electrophilic substitution reaction and nucleophilic substitution reaction. There we discussed the electrophile will attack the third position in case of pyridine and nucleophile will attack the second, po second position of the pyridine. And the question was, why it is so? In this class, I am going to answer the question why it is so. See, the topic, the heading for this class is mechanism and orientation of electrophile and nucleophile substitution reaction in pyridine. I told electrophile will attack at position at position 2. Why this is so? What happens if it attacks to position 3 or position 4? Let us see. See, this is our pyridine. We know this is the structure of pyridine and I have double bond here, double bond, double bond and one pair of electron. Electrophile will be E plus. Isn't it? E plus will be electrophile. It will be electron deficient. And these are pi electron load because of which it is electron rich. If it attacks to second position, it will be first, second, third, fourth. If it attacks to second position, then what happens? See, let us see. This is our mechanism. And here, I have got here. To attack this position, it should get negative charge. Isn't it? It will get negative charge. So, if it, if it should get negative charge, the electron shifts here and the nitrogen gets positive charge, which is highly unstable. So, electrophile should not attack in second position because the electronegative term that is nitrogen gets positive charge. So, it should not attack this position. So, electrophile should not attack this position. It will be unstable. The electrophile only attacks at third position. I will explain that. See, because of this unstability, the charge on electronegative atom, that to positive charge on electronegative atom is highly unstable. So, this kind of attack will not take place. So, electrophile will not attack to second position because nitrogen gets positive charge. And there can be resonance, no problem, but the positive charge on nitrogen will be unstable. Resonance will get, no, no doubt. See, next what happens is, uh, this bond will shift here and positive charge will be here. This gets positive charge and double bond will be here, double bond will be here. And here we have H and E plus. Then the next chemical structure will be like this. Here we have H, here we have E plus. Nitrogen, nitrogen gets positive charge. Here nitrogen is highly positive charge. Here, what we can do here, one will be like this. Then this H plus will this electron, and the other will be like this. But there is positive charge on nitrogen, which is highly unstable because electronegative atom can, cannot have any positive charge. If the electrophile attack to third position, this is second position, if, if the electrophile attack to third position, then what happens? Let us see that. This is B plus. So, third position will be here. Minus will be here. So, electron will attack this way. So, the next compound will be like this. What we got here it is plus and here electrophile and hydrogen and here we have double bond and here double bond and one pair of electron. This bond will shift like this. Isn't it? Yeah. Then minus yeah, plus it should shift here, not here, it should shift. Then we got and this the structure is like this. Electrophile and hydrogen and positive charge is on this. Then this will shift here and it gets positive charge. So the next kinetic structure is like this. It will be our kinetical structure. Electrophile and hydrogen and this gets positive charge. Then this hydrogen will leave 
and this one will just be here and you finally get compound like this. Double bond, double bond, double bond and electrified. See, in this resonance, the nitrogen didn't get any positive charge. See, the carbocation got the carbon got positive charge. They become carbocation. But nitrogen didn't get any positive charge. Since nitrogen is electronegative, it can't have positive charge. And here it has not got any positive charge. So the electrophile will attack at position 3. At position 3, if electrophile attacks, then it is fine because nitrogen is not going to get any positive charge. If the same electrophile attack to second position, then the nitrogen got positive charge, which is highly unstable because nitrogen is an electronegative atom. So, this is not possible, but at position 3, the electrophile can attack. The next is, next position is position number 4. The position number 4 is, see, 1, 2, 3, 4. The next position is, this one. What happens if electrophile attacks the fourth position? And this is minus electrophile. If it attacks here, minus, it should get positive. So then, the our problem will be like this. Here, H, here electrophile, and here it is positive, and double bond is here, and double bond is here. Then, this bond will shift here and this nitrogen gets positive. See, when electrophile attack to fourth position, then also nitrogen got positive, which is highly unstable because nitrogen is electrophile. Electrophile cannot have positive charge. If they get positive charge, it will be highly unstable and they will do something to become stable. That is, they will go against the reaction. If you want to want other product, you may not get that product. Isn't it? Then this bond will shift here and it will get positive charge. So next canonical structure will be like this. Uh, positive here, double bond here, double bond, positive charge and H and B plus. So because of this positive charge on nitrogen, so it is unstable. So electrophile only attacks to the position 3 in peridine. Because of this structure, if we you, you come across any question, question paper in BSC, you can write, you should say if it attacks to position 3, then you should write these resonating structures and you should explain it has not nitrogen has not got any positive charge because of which it is stable. Uh, at position 2 and at position 4, the nitrogen gets positive charge because of which it is highly unstable. So electrophile attack only at the position 3. So what about nucleophile? In previous class we saw that in nucleophile will attack at the position number 2, not at position 3. Why? This is because, see, this is building. This is pyridine and nucleophile. Nucleophile will be, I take NaNH2. In this, Na plus it forms and NH2 minus it forms. NH2 minus is a nucleophile and it is NH2 minus. And it is going to attack the second position. If it attacks at second position, what happens? Let us see. Electro file it is negative it should want electron deficient so carbon is electron deficient why because nitrogen is going to use more electron activity going to take this electron this electron so it becomes minus so then our compound will be like this then becomes minus it gets positive charge there the NH2 group will attach and we have double bond double bond isn't it it's fine and here I have hydrogen. The next figure is negative charge will shift here and negative charge will shift here. And one more thing you need to know. I told the positive charge on electronegative atom like nitrogen is highly unstable. But negative charge on electronegative atom like nitrogen is more stable because electro negative that is electronegative atoms are capable of holding that electron 
रिच दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी दे कैन होल्ड दैट चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन चार्ज बट दे कान बी इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट बिकॉज दे कान होल्ड दैट सो दे कैन बी इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच एज इट इज बट दे कान बी इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट यू शुड नो बिकॉज दीज आर इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्टिविटी दिस दिस इज द मेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्टिविटी वंस यू नो द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्टिविटी of those atoms then it is well you can explain many of the things in organic chemistry so the next chemical structure is like this the double bond here minus charge will be here then here the hydrogen will be there nh2 group is there then what happens this will accept here and this will accept here so the next chemical structure is like this Let's do both here. Hydrogen is here. Minus charge is here. Double bond. Double bond. This negative charge is here, and this H will take this minus and become H minus. This is called hydride ion. Hydride ion. H minus hydride ion, and it becomes the final we get the compound like this. This is our compound. We substitute the, we remove the hydrogen and we added NH2 group. This is nucleophilic substitution reaction, and we and it is at position two. If nucleophile attacks at position three, what happens? Let us discuss. If nucleophile attacks at position three, this is our pyridine, and this is one, two, three. Third position is here, and nucleophile is NH2 minus. If it attacks here, then see this electron density should shift here so that it become electron deficient. Then so that electron rich that is ammonia can attack, NH2 group can attack. So here it is NH2 and it got negative charge here. Then what is here? Then this charge will shift here and this will shift here. So the next compound is like this. Got double bond here. Double bond is here. Isn't it? Now then, right here. NH2 and hydrogen. We are not showing the hydrogen. Hydrogen I should show. Here I have hydrogen. Okay. Here it is. See. The next. Thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here it will be minus. Then the next chemical structure will be minus will attack here. Okay, minus and minus will attack here. And this bond will shift here. See. So what we got? We got like this. See, all in this canonical structure, we didn't get any negative charge on nitrogen. But at position two. We got negative charge on nitrogen, and I told negative can be the negative charge can be hold the nitrogen can hold negative charge compared to carbon. But here the carbon got negative charge, which is not useful because the electronegativity of, of nitrogen is three, and that of carbon will be two, isn't it? Carbon no, it is two point five. For carbon, the electronegativity is. 2.5. Whereas for nitrogen, it is 3. So since electron activity of nitrogen is more, it can hold that. It has capacity to hold that negative charge, not the positive charge. Only the negative charge compared to carbon. At position 2, when nucleophile attacked at position 2, the nitrogen got a negative charge. Since it has capacity to hold that electron, so it forms the good product. The stable product, but at when the nucleophile attacked the position three here, we saw that in number of canonical structure, now you see all negative charge were on carbon. The nitrogen didn't get any negative charge, but we know that the carbon cannot hold that negative charge as that of nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative and it is more capable than carbon. So the carbon is getting negative charge, which will be unstable because of which the product will not be stable. So the nucleophile will attack at position two, not at position three, and not at position four. At position four. You try yourself so that it will be easy. 
high position 4 will be here and you do resonance there also you won't get any negative charge on nitrogen you try in your book uh, it will be beneficial for you as a practice isn't it so the electrophile will attack at position 3 and nucleophile will attack at position 2 if the uh, this is my conclusion and if they ask me exam you need to show by this mechanism Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friend. If you are not the member, please subscribe to the member. And if you want any new topics, please go below and comment in the comment box. And have a good day. Bye.